You're planning on traveling to Hawaii, but you're unsure which island is best. I lived in Hawaii for a year, traveled to all the main islands, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you which island is best for your dream trip to Hawaii. Let's go. Let's start with Oahu. This is the most visited and the most populated island. Oahu is the perfect first island to visit for your first trip to Hawaii. There's a beautiful mix of city life to mountains to oceans, beaches, everything in between. You can find everything that you need in Oahu. I personally lived in the Kailua Beach Park area right next to the iconic, beautiful and amazing, probably the most beautiful beach I've seen in my life, Lanikai Beach. This is that crystal clear blue water white sand, those two Mokolui islands right off the coast. Here you have calm waters where you can go snorkeling, stand up paddle boarding, kayaking, and you're almost guaranteed to see a sea turtle every single time you go. You also have Kailua Town where you can go to Uproll Cafe and get the best poke in the world. And then Yoga Under the Palms is my favorite, favorite yoga studio. So the most popular part of this island is Waikiki Beach. There you have the city of Honolulu, you have skyscrapers, hotels, restaurants, cafes, everything. You can find it there. Waikiki Beach is a great place to rent surfboards, get surf lessons. You also have the iconic Diamond Head hike right there. It's a great spot, a great base into that mix of city life and nature and exploring. You also have North Shore, which is more of the laid back country surfer vibes. These are where those big waves are in the winter. You can also go surfing there, but if you're a little bit more advanced, I have a video on what to do in the North Shore of Hawaii. And it's a really great place to go skydiving in Hawaii as well. That was definitely a bucket list experience that I loved for my fourth skydive. There are also a bunch of epic hikes on this island. I love using the All Trails app to find hikes of all different lengths from waterfalls to mountains to coastal hikes. My favorite one is the Lanikai Pillbox for sunrise. I hiked that probably 10 times in the year I lived there. It's just breathtaking, awe-inspiring to see the sun rising over those dream islands in the Lanikai Beach area. Strongly suggest you can't go wrong with Oahu. Now let's talk about Maui. Maui is the perfect vibe for honeymooners and those more of expensive luxury resorts. Of course, you can find all sorts of accommodations on Maui, but this is a little bit more of the expensive vibe honeymoon island. Maui also has the road to Hana where you can drive. It has the super windy road, waterfalls for days. If you get motion sickness, it might not be the best for you. Make sure you're driving. My favorite part is the banana bread. Oh my gosh, the bananas there make the best banana bread. Auntie Sandy's banana bread has to be on your road to Hana bucket list. On Maui, you can also find a perfect mix of everything that you're looking for from jungle to mountains to waterfalls to beaches. You've got it all. The other iconic activity that you have to do in Maui is visit Haleakala National Park. This is a great place to see sunrise, sunset. You're up above the clouds. It's absolutely breathtaking. If you're a national park nature lover, this is the spot for you. It's also incredible for stargazing and astrophotography. So now let's dive into the Big Island. Big Island is broken up into two parts. We have the west side, the Kona side. This is the dry side, super sunny, dry temperatures, resorts, beaches, great for snorkeling and scuba diving. And then you have the east side, which is the Hilo side. This part is known for getting a lot more rain. It's a lot more lush green waterfalls, it's absolutely gorgeous. You also have Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. As of when I went last year in 2021, there was no lava, but it was still interesting to observe this national park. The Volcano Eco Retreat is one of my favorite places I've ever stayed. The owners are amazing, they are good friends now. It's sustainably run, it's just beautiful. Strongly suggest checking it out when you are on the big island. Now let's talk about Kauai, known as the Garden Island. You will see why when you visit here. This island is 97% untouched nature. So if you're a nature mountain, just untouched nature lover, you will love Kauai. Hikes for days. There are beautiful blue water, white sand beaches as well. Kauai is a gem. It is paradise. It's so beautiful. One of the bucket list activities you have to do there is hike the Nepali coast. You can either go for a day hike, make sure to get permits for that, or do the full backpacking trip. I did the day hike and I definitely want to go back for the backpacking trip one day. It is a dream. It's one of my all-time favorite hikes. I'm a huge hiking lover. My favorite hike I've ever done is in Pukii State Park. It is just gorgeous. It's jaw-dropping. The view of the mountains is second to none. It's just insane. You have the mountains that meet the beach. And here you can also do a speedboat tour through the coast, go through sea caves, sea dolphins, whales, turtles, the best snorkeling. It's amazing. Waimea Canyon is nicknamed the Grand Canyon of the West. And when you visit there, you'll see why. It's just these massive canyons of all different colors. And you can hike through, explore the area. And if you're lucky, if you're there for strawberry guava season, strawberry guava is the best hiking snack. You also 
of Hanalei Bay, which is a great place to go, soak in some beach, just enjoy the vibes. Kauai is a beautiful, beautiful island. And that being said, if you are visiting Hawaii, please be sure to read up on Leave No Trace Hawaiian culture and respecting the land when you travel there. For example, when you're hiking, be sure to stay on the trails, pack out the trash that you take with you, brush off your boots before you go on the hikes, read up on the Leave No Trace principles. When you're there, try to immerse yourself in Hawaiian culture. Go to the Polynesian Cultural Center on the island of Oahu, learn as much as you can about the beautiful Hawaiian culture, and just really be respectful. Treat Hawaii as if you would treat your own home. Hawaii is truly Truly a special place on earth. Which island is best? If you probably haven't guessed it by my descriptions, Kauai wins for me. I lived in Oahu for a year, went back to Kauai twice, and it's truly, truly a magical place. Untouched nature, if you're a nature lover, Kauai is a gem, but then again, you can't go wrong with any of the major islands. Oahu, Big Island, Maui, and Kauai, they're all so gorgeous, so stunning, and have an amazing time. Hawaii is truly a magical place on earth. I'm so grateful for my years spent living there. If you have any questions at all, be sure to reach out to me. My name is Mon and Travel on all social platforms. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know if you have any questions on what you want to see in future videos. I'm gonna go cool off now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Bye! currently filming this in Bali. Gotta love all the sounds. You're planning on traveling to Hawaii Island? Auntie Sandy's 